What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to draw Bojack Horseman. We're going to get started at the very top of our page with the eyes. So we start over on the left side and draw a circle. Starting from the top, it's going to work our way down towards the bottom of the eye and then back up towards the top. Now I'm going to leave a large gap in the center and draw the same thing over on the right. So we're going to line up the top of the circle and come down to the same height and then back up towards the top. Let's add in the pupils. In the center of the left eye, we're going to draw a small circle and fill that in black. And we'll do the same thing on the right. Let's move in between the eyes and draw that diamond shape. Leaving a gap in the center, we're going to draw two dots. One on the left and then one on the right. And then from the ends, we're going to angle up and in towards the center point. And then come back down on the right. And we're going to flip this over. Starting back on the left, we're going to come down in the middle and then go up towards the right. And then we'll add a bag under each eye. On the left side, we'll draw a curve. Just want the same curve of the eye coming around and up. And do the same thing on the right side. Let's line up with the inside edge of the eye and draw on the muzzle. Starting on the left side, we'll draw a straight line coming down. Line up with the right side and do the same thing. Now we're going to bump out the side of the nose. Starting back on the left, we'll draw a small half circle. Going out and then in. And the same on the right. Now I'm going to add an even smaller half circle, the outside corner of the mouth. And we'll connect the bottom with a curve. We're going to start by curving in and then down. Round out the chin. Go up towards the right and just blend that out. And then we move up and draw the mouth. Starting on the left side, we're going to curve in, come down towards the bottom of the mouth, up and then out. Let's move up and add in the nostrils. On the left side, we're going to draw an angled O. Starting from the top, come down and in, round out the bottom, go up and then out. Let's take that and flip it over on the right. Come in and then back out. We'll fill the nostrils in black. Let's add a fold along the inside of the nostril. Starting on the left, we're going to curve in and then out. Go to the right and curve in the opposite direction. Let's go back up to the top. Underneath this point, we're going to step down. Start with another point. We're going to angle this down and out towards the left nostril. Go back up to the top, come down and out towards the right nostril. Now we're going to move down. We're going to curve out and then in on top of the mouth. Now we're gonna move back up and draw on the cheeks. From the left eye, we're gonna step out, and curve out the cheek, round it out, and then just pull that in behind the muzzle. Let's line this up on the right, and curve out, down, and then bend that in. Now we're gonna go back to the top and round out the side of the head. Starting on the left, we're gonna curve out, and just pull that in, and do the same thing on the right side. Go back down and add in the eyebrows. Starting on the left side, we're just going to curve over the left eye and pull that down on the inside. Line this up on the right and do the same thing. Now going back to the top, we're going to draw the outside edge of the ears. Starting from the left, curve out, up, and pull that in. And we'll do the same thing on the right side to the same height. Now let's round up the top, just hooking that back down. Now from here, we're going to curve in and then down. Let's draw on the hair bangs. We're going to start back on the left. We're going to curve down and out towards the left. And then we're going to create a point, curving in and then up. Let's do that one more time. Curving down and out towards the left. Pull that in and up towards the center. Now we're going to work our way over towards the right side. From here, we're going to curve down and out in the opposite direction back up to the top. I'm going to add two more points. Coming down and out. Go back up. I'm just going to close off this end with a smaller point. Going down and out. And then up toward the inside of the ear. Let's add a fold along the inside of the ear. Starting from the top, we're going to step down, curve in, and then back out. Go to the right side and do the same thing. Curve in, and then out. 
From this center part, I'm going to move up towards the top of the head. We're going to start with a point. Let's part the hair over towards the left. Going up and out. Curve back in and down. Do that again. Out. And back in. And we're just going to tuck this in behind the ear. Let's draw on the right side. Going back to the center. Curve up and out towards the right. Come back in. Add one more point. And we'll tuck this in behind the ear. And then we're going to add a little bit of hair along the side of the head. Starting from the base of the ear, I'm going to curve out and down. Curve out and up. Down and in. And we'll add one more point. Going out. Pull this down on top of the cheek. Let's take that and flip it over on the right. Starting from the base of the ear. Curve out. Go up to the first point. And then bring it back down. And then one more time. Now we're going to go back and fill the hair in black, starting on the left side. Now that we complete the head, let's work our way down the body. We'll start with the outside edge of the neck coming down towards the bottom of the jacket. So we start underneath the left cheek, draw a straight line coming all the way down, right down to about there. Let's do the same thing on the right, coming all the way down towards the bottom of the jacket. And we'll go back up and draw the collar, starting on the left side, I'm going to curve down underneath the chin, and back up on the right, and step down and draw that twice. And then from the bottom of the jacket, we're going to step up, draw another curve. Coming down the middle, and up on the right, step up, and we'll draw that twice. Let's add some texture along the collar and the waist. Starting in the center, start with a straight line. We're just going to work our way out towards the left with a series of lines coming down. And then go back to the center, move over towards the right, and do the same thing. Let's do the same thing along the waist. And then we'll add that pattern to the inside of the sweater. We're going to start halfway down the length of the sweater, starting on the left side, draw a dotted line going all the way across. And then we add some X's across the top and bottom half of the sweater. Let's start in the top and the center, start with an X, leave a gap, and work our way over towards the right. And we'll go over towards the left and do the same thing. Let's do the same thing along the bottom half. Starting in the middle, and then we'll work our way over towards the right, and then the left. Let's move out to the side and add in the jacket collar. On the top of the collar on the left, I'm going to step up, start by curving out, and then down. Line this up on the right, and do the same thing. Now I'm going to add a point, coming down and in, and then going back out and then down, and then we'll pull the collar coming down and in towards the bottom of the jacket, starting on the left, and down, and bending that in. From the bottom of the jacket, we're going to draw a straight line going out towards the side of the body. Now from here, we're just going to pull this straight up. It's going to go up to right about there, and the same thing on the right. Now from here, we're going to draw the inside of the arm. We're going to curve out down towards the wrist, do the same thing on the right. Let's go back to the left side and draw on the thumb. From the wrist, we're going to draw a small half circle, from the in and then out. At the end of the thumb, we'll add a bracket. Let's do the same thing on the right. Now before we add the fingers, let's draw on the bottom of the sleeve. Starting from the top of the thumb, we curve out and then up, and do the same thing on the right side. And then from the outside of the cuff, we're going to curve the arm going up and then in towards the top of the collar. So we pull this up and then bend that in. 
do the same thing on the right. Let's add that seam across the sleeve. Starting from the top here, curve up, and then bend that out. Now we're gonna go back down and finish off the hands. Let's start at the bottom of the thumb, curve the first finger, coming down and then up around the bracket. We're gonna add two more fingers. Stepping down, curve down and up the second finger. And then the third finger, we're just gonna tuck this up underneath the sleeve, leaving a little overlap on the outside. Let's do the same thing on the right. Now we're going to move to the center, step down, draw a curve from left to right, going up and then down from the lower torso. Now we're going to leave a gap in the center, move over towards the left, draw a curve going out and down towards the left heel, move over towards the right, curve out and down towards the right heel. Let's round out the bottom of the feet, starting from the left heel, and curve down and then bend up towards the toe on both sides. Now going back to the left, let's draw on the top of the foot. We curve up. And I'm just going to bend this down, aiming towards the heel. We'll stop right about there. And we're just going to curl this back up towards the inside of the leg. Let's do the same thing on the right. Starting from the toe, go up, and then this down towards the heel. And it'll blend into a curve going up towards the inside. Let's add a thick sole. We're going to take this curve, step up, and just trace that across. And then we're going to add a toe cap on top of the foot, curve in and then down on top of the sole. Now I'm going to move back up and draw on the side of the leg. From the inside corner of the jacket, I'm going to step out, start by coming straight down, and we'll bend that in on top of the foot. Let's do the same thing on the leg. Come straight down, and then we'll bend that in. Now from the inside edge of the foot, I'm going to curve in and then up. Line this up on the right, do the same thing. Now I'm going to step up from the outside of the leg, draw a curve coming down and then up to the cuff. I'm going to go back up underneath the sweater in the center, draw a straight line coming down toward the lower torso. From the bottom, I'm going to step up, angle up and out towards the right, and then go straight up underneath the sweater. And that's pretty much it. There's Bojack Horseman. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send me your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.